Fishing with Tyler brought to you by Shimano. TNH Marine, makers of Hydrowave and other fine products. Yeti Coolers. G Loomis. Angler. Columbia Sportswear. Stormer. Hoorad. The Tackle Box. Power Pro. Jackal. And JB's Fish Sauce. Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Fishing with Tyler. My very first trip to St. Clair will not be my last, we'll say that. Missy and I went on my spring break up there to Roseville, Michigan and had one heck of a time. Very first day, uh, we drove all night, got there about 10 o'clock in the morning, went fishing, um, caught a few fish. As you'll see here, we caught about 10 fish, I think, throughout the day. Misty didn't happen to catch anything. Um, wind started blowing on uh, my 50 inch Minn Kota. Um, was, it was, you know, it was no match for that. So it was coming out of the water and I was getting frustrated. So we went back uh, uh, to the hotel and got everything squared away.
day two uh, was a little different. Went out, um, it was extremely windy that day. Um, we caught a few fish. Um, ended up fishing back in the canals. And Misty caught a couple of small large mouth and the rock bass, I caught a couple of large mouth. Um, but we went from the Clinton River cutoff ramp over to uh, Harley Enzyme and actually the water was way different over there. Uh, same day, um, I guess that point where uh, the Harley Enzyme is at is, um, was blocking it. Uh, so we fished a rock wall there behind it and ended up catching a couple smallmouth and several pretty good largemouth. So as I mentioned before, I'd never been to Lake St. Clair. Um, I'd never uh, have a lot of people that have been there and told me that I should go, but I never had the opportunity to go. So when Misty and I chose to go there, I asked a few people on some Facebook groups and stuff that I'm on about some tips and stuff that may be helpful for me to get, uh, get on a few fish. Um, so with me not having a, um, you know, an avionics or, or a, you know, a chip that will give me the maps of the lakes on my graphs, I wanted to find a way that I could actually do that, and I'd done that through an app called the Angler app. Um, the Angler app is free to smartphone users. Um, you know, again, if you have um, iPhone, Android, you can open this thing up for free. You can download it for free. Um, there is a web-based version of this um, that's a little bit more expensive. It's 50 bucks a year, which is a drop in a bucket for what you can do with it. Um, but if you buy one of their Angler trackler, trackers, um, you actually get this uh, the web version of this for free for one year. Um, but what I did was, uh, you know, I wanted to be able to pinpoint some things on a map, um, but I wanted to be able to do it on the fly, and I don't, again, don't have a graph that actually has that, that capability right now. So what I did is I went into the, um, the mode of it here. I went to, um, into the uh, settings here, and I toggled the map to, um, you know, a satellite version of that, found the spots that I wanted to find, and then dropped pins. You can actually uh, you press and hold on the screen, and it'll actually allow you to drop pins um, and create this, you know, these waypoints that you can actually, you know, use your phone and go back to. So day three. Day three started out. We're going to have some severe storms running through the area about noon, one o'clock. Um, so I told Misty we'll sleep in, get on the water about 9 o'clock, fish until noon, and then probably pack our stuff and head home. Um, so we were looking around and, and looking at the weather and playing it out. Wake up the next morning, and sure enough, it's raining. So I play it out. There's going to be a gap between 9 and 12. So we get the water on the water at, at 9 a.m., put the boat in at the Clinton River cutoff ramp, and as soon as we do, it starts raining. So I'm like, man, this is not going to be good. Um, so, you know, we got good rain gear. I was like, heck with it. We've dri driven this far. We've been here. We haven't caught many fish, so we're going fishing. So, you know, I just had the boat to where we were fishing at on Monday and catching the fish. Um, go in there, and immediately when we, when we turn the, the big motor off, it quits raining. Um, so we fished there for about a half hour and never got a bite on that point that I caught the smallmouth on before. So I knew that from the previous day before fishing the canals that it's actually got a lot of big largemouth in the area. So I was like, I know how to catch largemouth, we're going to go catch some largemouth. So we started fishing for largemouth, and sure enough, we smoked some largemouth. The biggest one being four and a half pound, uh, and it was a, an absolute ball. Oh, got it. Got it. Oh,
JB's fish sauce. One spray, one cast. Like in the garlic. Um, but I got to, you know, got to thinking to myself, I can catch these things at my house. Obviously not that big, but I can go largemouth fishing pretty much any day that we can catch them. So, you know, I was like, we're going to go back try to find some more smallmouth. And when we pulled up on the point that I had just left previously a couple hours, the very first cast, the very first cast, I hook up with a five pound smallmouth. The biggest smallmouth I've ever caught in my life. You know, hands down, not even close. Um, so, you know, that with that being said the gopro wasn't on because it was the very first cast i made off that point I just wanted to see if we can find any fish but after that we started catching them and boy did we ever catch them So you saw the five pounder that I caught, um, five pound one, eight, uh, one ounce there. Um, the next two fish come by the way of Misty's X-Age rod, a new Shimano rod that she has uh, paired up with a Nasi Reel 2500 uh, with a, a Rapala DT6. And she caught two four pounders in a row. One was four pounds, a little over, the other one was four four. Her biggest um, smallmouth ever, biggest bass ever. Um, was her very first smile that she ever caught, four pounds, four ounces. Check out the excitement in her voice.
<laughs> Lake St. Clair freaking giants. Monsters. Four pound small mouth for the Misty Meister.
You got one? That wraps it up, guys. Another episode of Fishing with Tyler in the books. Lake St. Clair, Roseville, Michigan. I will be back, I promise. And I'm sure I speak for Misty when I say that for her as well. We had a ball, amazing time. If you ever get a chance to go, you should go. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. We'll see you next time.